try it sometime. Their legendary union made Hollywood history. As we do, tales we... Get married. Right. We'll see them in their first and only appearance together on the silver screen. See you in church. No man of her own. Tuesday on AMC. American Movie Classics introduces an irresistible new cable channel, Romance Classics. Escape with the greatest love stories ever told, from timeless Hollywood romances to engaging television series. All day, all night, commercial free. Romance Classics, straight from the heart. Coming February 14th, 1994. Call your cable company today and ask for Romance Classics. Hi, I'm Bob Dorian, and if you love classic movies as much as I do, then American Movie Classics magazine is just for you. It's your personal guide to AMC programming and the only magazine that takes you on a special journey behind the scenes of Hollywood. In my exclusive movie column, I answer letters from classic movie lovers just like you who join me in thinking of these films as American Movie Classics. Call 1-800-535-7700 and order American Movie Classics magazine. Each issue features schedules with easy-to-read, detailed descriptions of every movie and original program on AMC. Every issue profiles your favorite classic movie stars and follows them behind the camera. AMC Magazine is the only magazine dedicated to bringing you beautiful, rarely-seen photographs and entertaining and intriguing stories of classic Hollywood's most glamorous and renowned stars. To order the magazine and save 50% off the cover price, call 1-800-535-7700. You can use your Visa or MasterCard, or you can send check or money order to AMC Magazine, P.O. Box 2065, Marion, Ohio, 43305. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, of the long, hot summer, William Faulkner's violent study of Southern love and hate is attended by a number of exciting events, one seeing Lieutenant Governor Fraser honoring Joanne Woodward for her sterling performance in the exciting Jerry Wald Cinemascope production, with producer Wald himself made an honorary colonel on Governor Earl Long's staff. Another tribute to the long hot summer comes from the LSU band, while MC Bob Earl is lauding the picture's producer and stars to the fortunate patrons at the world premiere. Another occasion for a tribute to Miss Woodward Academy Award nominee, this time by Lions Club President Larry Bayham, a bouquet for the young lady being hailed as the greatest dramatic actress on the American screen today. Next on American Movie Classics, Paul Newman, Joanne Woodward, and Orson Welles give sizzling performances in the classic drama, The Long Hot Summer. Next on American Movie Classics. Now our legendary Lovers Festival continues here on AMC as we journey south to William Faulkner's country for the long hot summer. The stars, Paul Newman, Joanne Woodward, and Anthony Franciosa, and Orson Welles, and Lee Remick, and Angela Lansbury. Quite an incredible cast when you think of it, really. Aside from being a fine film, the long hot summer is notable for another reason. It's the first screen pairing of Paul Newman and Joanne uh, Woodward, who would be married later that same year. Now, here's an example of how important it is for a production to have real professionals in it. There's a scene in which Paul Newman auctions off horses. And to increase the dramatic tension, the director, Martin Ritt, wanted the horses to be riled up a little, make it more exciting. But no matter what they tried to do, the horses just kind of remained calm. Uh, even firing rounds of blank ammunition over the heads of these horses had no effect at all. But finally, a veteran wrangler brought two camels into the corral and all hell broke loose. It seems the, the horses just stampeded and Red got the shot that he wanted. The reason? Horses, so they say, just don't seem to get along with camels. And they got the shot. Anyway, here's the long, hot summer.
coming up next on AMC. Sinister silence grips the savage-infested jungle. An ominous warning of the tropics. Suddenly, the war yell of a maddened bolo, raised by a primitive oath to kill. You've got to send somebody up into the hills to dynamite the dam. It's your death to send anybody. It's your death here if we don't get running water. Proud to present for your viewing pleasure a bold tale of bravery and honor during the Spanish-American War, Henry Hathaway's The Real Glory, starring Gary Cooper and David Niven. Coming up next, right here on AMC. The story we're about to see is loosely based on an event that's usually left out of the history books, and that's the 1906 Moro Uprising in the Philippines. Now, as far as Gary Cooper, our star, was concerned, the first time he ever worked for Sam Goldwyn, he made $75 a week, and he's very happy to get it. Now, a few years later, 1939, he was a big star, and he agreed to do three films for Goldwyn, but now the price was $300,000, and it was Goldwyn's turn to be thankful. Goldwyn knew the formula for box office success, especially in a Cooper movie. Three things, Cooper in action, Cooper in close-ups, and Cooper in love. The three films that he made under that contract were The Cowboy and the Lady, Marco Polo, and the feature we're about to see, which is called The Real Glory. Filming began in 1939 with Cooper and a young contract player by the name of David Niven, along with Broderick Crawford. Of course, it was shot entirely in the studio and on the back lots. And this is interesting. If you saw Wuthering Heights here on AMC, you're going to remember the scenes that took place in an English village. Well, that very same village received a complete makeover, and it plays the Philippine village that you'll see in today's film. See if you recognize it. There's something that you will not see here, though, and that's the two scenes that boosted U.S. militarism in the Philippines. Uh, Filipino President Manuel Quezon uh, requested that they be cut because they placed this country in a bad light. And surprisingly, Goldwyn went along with the whole thing. Well, now let's get to the film that was raved about in a lot of uh, press, but specifically by Time magazine, who called it the Philippine birth of a nation. Here's Gary Cooper in The Real Glory. <laughs> <laughs> 